Good morning, guys and girls. How is it going? It's only bloody Friday. Can't say that I'm in a good mood. I can't say that I'm in a bad mood. So that's pretty good. I'll take that. I'm glad that the week is over, or at least coming to the end of it. Man, it's been testing these last couple of weeks. I've had some sort of mediocre ups, and then I've had some kind of just lows, man. Struggling, trying to reevaluate my life, what I want to do with it, what I want to do with a vlog, what I want to do with my job, what do I want to do with my like education, what am I doing with, I don't know, am I actually trying to change this game up at all, or am I just staying sort of here in a plateau? Heavy questions to start a Friday with, but these are the questions that plague me most days. Well, they have been recently, so answer to that is, let's fire up this car, let's get to work. Let's get some coffee, fingers crossed, and let's get the weekend started, shall we? Yeah, let's do this. I hope you guys are well. Thanks for tuning in to another vlog. Let's see what the day brings. Friday's getting off to kind of a stressful start, man. The traffic this morning has been diabolical. I've pretty much driven from Aylesbury to Tame doing about 20, 30 mile an hour. I don't even know what's caused it, but maybe it's just everybody's going back to work. But on a Friday though? Maybe it's a lot of people going on a holiday, going to the coast or something. Who knows? Heavy, heavy morning. So yeah, no coffee guy. Feeling for you, Chris. Hope you're better soon. Hope you're back on top and I hope I get to get some coffee off you Monday because I need twice as much coffee now. That was a heavy morning without you, dude. But already went in on a colleague first thing this morning. Had to apologize before leaving because I can't leave that for the weekend and nobody need that. And it was my own fault. I went a just over the top. So yeah, that sucks. But just got to apologize. Layers, Andy. Got to apologize when you're wrong, man, you know? And it wasn't his problem. So there was no need for me to go ham on him, go in, but dude, man, talk about just feeling bummed out in so many senses of it. Feel like I was saying when vlog got with that. Feel like I was saying this morning, just contemplating too much stuff. So many people that I know and care about at the minute seem to be having a rough time. And I'm kind of, I don't know, susceptible to it. I don't know. Just kind of feeling the pain, man. And just want us all to be winning and pushing forwards. And the more that I want to be winning and pushing forwards and I'm not, but telling other people to, just feel like the biggest hypocrite there is on the planet Earth. And yeah, man, just chewing myself up seriously first world problems though you know there is so much worse in the world and i could be in so much worse positions than i am but everybody's problems are their own and the only people that can deal with them are their own you know heavy stuff man heavy heavy stuff but it's friday we're getting in the car we're going home okay let's do this let's see how she goes did she fire Maybe it's just because it's been sat. That ain't right, man. After a little bit of tinkering, I did manage to get the golf somewhere close and just took it for a run around the block. Still not quite right. I don't know if that's all due to the timing, obviously needing to be done by a strobe light. It just still don't feel like it's quite right. It doesn't, it's not pulling like it should. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna get the Hawaiian shirt off, get the dirt clothes on, get out there and just give it once over. Just gone full big dog. Had the rocker cover off, done my last 90 degree turn on all of the head bolts in order obviously. And once it was hot, so that is, in my eyes probably the most thorough i've ever done a head gasket because usually 
Man, I'd just do the first two torque settings, do a 90 degree turn on each bolt, call it a day. So, we've gone one way, we went the other way. Now all we got to do, got a little bit of judder on it. I don't know, I might end up going back one notch. Ah, who knows? Could just be the timing though. I reckon we're near enough, damn it. The question is, do I leave it where the cam shaft is? Do I move it forward a notch? Because basically, long story short, I started at one. It weren't quite right, but it could have been the timing, the ignition timing. So I went three notches and that was well not right. So then I went, split the difference. I'm thinking though, the first setting, which was basically where I was, is the number, but it just needs the ignition timing set on a proper strobe light. Do I reset it back to where it was, then go see me mate, However, that feels like that was the most pokiest it's been where it is now splitting the difference down the middle. Do I leave it like that? Go up, get it timed, see what happens. And then worst case scenario, if I don't like it, I can always just advance the camshaft one tooth and then know that I have to just knock off the ignition timing of it. Oh! the stress the strain andrew's got dinner on it's kind of nice being back out in the dub though it's rather nice driving the civic because it's just smooth and it's not bumpy and it don't take a lot of effort to put the clutch down but i miss the golf man we've run out of instant coffee so i've had to go big dog star Let's fire up the filter. Why not drink 10 cups of coffee in an evening? What we got to lose, eh? That's close enough, right? Wicked. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it a day. I hope you've had a great start to your weekend. I hope you had a good finish to the week. I hope you're looking forward to what the weekend may bring. And all in all, I hope you're in a good frame of mind. So I'm signing off. I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Hope to see you then. Have a great evening.